The term lupus-like symptoms uh, refers to an old-fashioned diagnosis called undifferentiated connective tissue disease, which is a complete mouthful. Essentially what it means is that uh, patients have symptoms that are very similar to lupus, but they don't have the full-blown lupus disease. So in other words, they may have joint pains, rashes, mouth ulcers, um, and they may have a positive antibody, for example, a positive ANA. So in other words, they don't have full-blown lupus. Uh, in other words, they will do well in the long term. That doesn't minimise the symptoms. The symptoms can be very troublesome. Um, so each individual patient needs to be assessed in their own right to see uh, how they're doing, assess them, examine them, and look at the blood tests. On the whole, most patients with lupus-like symptoms very rarely progress to full-blown lupus. But this is where the blood tests can be helpful. So for example, if patients have very high levels of anti-DNA antibodies, um, they are more likely to develop lupus in the future. So some patients need uh, close follow-up, others can just be seen once every year or every six months uh, and generally do very well in the long term. So it is a confusing term, lupus-like illness. Um, you don't actually have lupus as such, but they do need to be kept an eye on from time to time.